Hey guys, it's Anthony here, Subaru Service. I got uh, Josh's truck, did a diag over at the, uh, across the, across the way here. Went over and did this at night. We went and dragged it back over here to run a diag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a buzz test real quick. This, this Ficum was uh, supplied by the customer, I think. I don't know where it came from. I think he got it from some online something, but uh, I already did one buzz test. I already swapped the Ficum. I already saw the results. I already know what's going on. But I'm gonna go ahead and show here. Let me get over in the truck and uh, I'll run a buzz test. Uh, with this Ficum right here, injector two and injector eight are not buzzing. Uh, but we'll try it again here real quick. I'll, I'll get the buzz test going, then I'll come back. Okay, here we go right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the buzz test. We should hear eight buzzes, one number, one through eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No eight. No two, no eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no eight. So it's number two and number eight. There's one. So I've already unplugged this. I've already unplugged this Ficum, plugged it back in. It is plugged in, it's seated, all the pins are good. Actually, it's showing number five, too. There's number two, there's number five, and there's number eight. So two, five, and eight. That says, uh, pretty sure that's the center plug. So, but it's not. It's not a wiring issue because I've already, here, I'll swap the Ficum. I'm gonna put a different one in. I got a, I got a, a little known good tester that I use for testing. So I'm gonna yank this Ficum out and I'm gonna swap it. Uh, kind of give a reference to what vehicle we're working on here. Uh, this is Josh's truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that real quick and then we'll run another buzz test. I'll be right back. Hi, right, Julie mentioned I didn't try to start it. So she wants me to try to start it. So we'll get everything started here. If it even does start, I don't think it will. So we got no ICP. Three. Yeah, it's not even gonna fire. It's got a uh, number three injector is bad too. Let's see, it's just not gonna fire. It's not going to fire with that figure minute. So, uh, yeah, not going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and swap it real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I got the figure switched, and I uh, got to. I need to clear those codes out, the uh, ejector circuit codes. So I'm going to clear those out, and we'll see what comes back. Okay, got them all cleared. Only thing less, I intake air temp, high input. I'm not going to be concerned with that one right now. We're going to exit out of this. Then I'm going to go back to self-test. Get the... Okay. Injector test. Here we go. Now, number two and eight. You've got to count every buzz. I'm going to rush over here real quick. There's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Okay, that's with a new pick a minute. <coughs> yeah, it's pick and repair. Uh, we'll got to uh, talk to him about what he's going to do with that one because I mean, it's not, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't, you know, it he bought the wrong pick from the wrong company, you know, that's why we go see it pass the self test. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go right up here. Now you're going to see how it starts here. Got 
12 volts on it, 49 volts, 48 and a half. That's all good. Here we go. A little uneven crank. Fired right up, running smooth. All right, now we're gonna check power balance. That's number three injector is bad. We'll see here in just a second. Hang on. So this is the computer compensation. Sounds pretty freaking good. I'm hearing air though. I'm hearing a lot of air. I don't know if it's exhaust I'm hearing or what. Oh yeah, it's exhaust. I can hear it down here. Oh yeah, this point right here. This point right here is blowing. It's blowing air out. It looks like a uh, Aftermarket exhaust with a uh, stock catalytic converter. Stock catalytic converter. That's one right there. So that's the air leaking. As far as everything else, I mean, truck sounds good. Um, did have a dry oil filter. We had oil pressure issues. It had a, it had a Wix filter on it. I took the filter out and it was completely bone dry. It wasn't dripping at all. Uh, fuel filters, no way. Anytime your fuel filter is stained on top, I'm like, okay, replace it. it shouldn't be in long enough to get stained. Lower one, I mean, yeah, it was pretty nasty. Oh, there it goes. There you go, number three and number five. Still good there. Let's go back here. I mean, the miles are on this truck. 140,000. Chuff charger. What? Cut off the charger. There's that number three. Number three shot. So. cleared up so it looked like number seven number three and number five are the real suspect ones uh, three being the absolute worst one so we're gonna call and find out what he wants to do with that Fickham um, I mean if we just disable it and let him send it off because I guess supposedly it's a lifetime warranty but I don't know how much I would trust a lifetime warranty when the first one you get right out the box is bad you know I mean Plus, the, the, the case isn't even painted. It's not even, uh, I don't know what the deal is with it, but it's got this sticker on it. Other than that, it's an 05 International. It's an 05 Reman. Uh, nothing on the front. It's like, I mean, it's like they, they didn't even, uh, you know, sandblast it. Ed, I know Ed sandblasts his case. He cleans them. They, they look brand new. They look pristine. But here we go, it's running. Uh, sucks that it needs to pick him. So, there you go, Josh. We're gonna go ahead and throw this at you. I got two other videos downloaded at the same time. It's gonna take a while to get them all downloaded. But uh, thank God it wasn't, uh, wasn't an IPR valve, wasn't nothing like that. It was uh, it was that pick'em. Uh, the pick'em and the, and we didn't have, we didn't have oil pressure. We didn't have no oil. High pressure oil reservoir was bone dry, empty. So we can't be using those Wix filters. Because um, I, I started to get it to crank to fire without changing the pick while well, you heard it. But, yep, there we go. Looking pretty good right now, but once that rough running comes in, it's, it's, you can see the history line. Number number seven, number three, and then number five was kind of was dropping off quite often. So there we go. I'm going to call this one uh, pretty much a wrap. Uh, yep. Have a good day, guys.